Hey guys, Sketchy Rooster Garage. Um, fixing to install a uh, Z Automotive Taser on my 18 Challenger TA392. Um, mainly doing it because it unlocks a bunch of features like I want to get the line lock feature unlocked, um, a shift light, and uh, it does a bunch of other stuff like light shows stuff like that I don't really necessarily care about that personally um, but also it has for the 18 and up it's got the double bypass in it which allows you to bypass the security uh, for SCA Chrysler um, that they put on uh, 18 and up uh, Dodge vehicles and um, that way because I popped a code the other day and we hooked up the snap-on tool to it and um, we could not clear it we could see what it was it was a cylinder 8 misfire um, but we couldn't clear it because we don't have a subscription we found out to the uh, FCA uh, Chrysler um, they have like a whole security deal you have to be a yearly member and then you can clear the codes um, I had wanted a taser anyway so this double bypass allows you to you know bypass that security so anyway it's like it's gonna be a real easy install um, I looked at the deal downloaded it it's couldn't be any simpler we'll do it real quick and test some stuff out <laughs> the taser with the double bypass so basically all when you start it you pull those piece of velcro up we'll pull uh pull that section pastor rear section seat down and then we'll pull out this plate here to access everything That's interesting. I wonder if it's a 10 millimeter. Nope, 3 eighths. I have no idea where that came from. So, this right here is where you're going to have to access to plug in the double bypass. This is like a, I believe it's called a BCM like body control module or um, not a body control module but uh, I can't remember now but anyway it allows you to get into the computer system I guess get the flathead screwdriver So all you need is a little flat head for that. So, 
as you can see, they make it super simple. The white goes where the white plugs go. And the green goes where the green plugs go. And I think the clip goes, the clip part of it goes down. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep. You just got to hit an open slot and then we'll route it alongside this here and we'll zip tie it. Yeah, since these usually like if it was in the engine compartment, I'd use black zip ties, so it looks a little nicer, but I figure uh, this doesn't really matter. You'll never see this. So take the opportunity to use a whole bunch of these. I've got a whole bunch of the white ones. So. Uh, since this one you'll see when you open up for the battery, I'm going to use a black one just to help with my OCD. Room, I'm gonna run it through there. So this thing here just has a little clip, you can see it. So I just got in there, pushed it aside, pushed the clip aside like that, and that way it'll not slide up off the off the stud there. back down Then, get access fuse box. Just, just undo that clip right there. Pop it up. All right, so once you get it off, you need the radio fuse. If you can look on your list here, you're not gonna be able to read it, I doubt, but it shows F37. We have this turned to match the fuse box. F37 So it's right and here's the tool. The tool's right there in the cover. Get my fat fingers in there on it. Right there, so it's this second row back, two from the end. So, take 
like this thing here i can't remember what they call it but it's just a adapter you put the 20 amp fuse in that part put the 20 amp fuse right in there like that then it has this little i think it's like a five amp or something for the actual taser for the double bypass and then you just plug it in where the uh, the 20 amp radio fuse went. Put that back up. Take your power, jump up to that. And this has to go to ground. All right. I'm gonna go under here. I don't know what I'm gonna do long term. Maybe get some Velcro, Velcro it here or something. So yeah, we'll use this, take a 10 millimeter, loosen up this for your ground. Ground pigtail coming off your, uh, your uh, double bypass. Plug this in, the positive. Right, that's good. Just gonna route it down between here and go out where the uh, positive feeds in there. It's got a little cut out. Back in. Um, for now, I think I'm just going to zip tie this like that. Keep it from hanging around too much. Right, plug that in. Got all four snaps covered for a back in.
All right, just take your, your cover and put it back in. Velcro your uh, whatever these are your little covers that cover up this gap here. Kind of looks like crap. Yeah, I guess that looks a little better. All right, well, let's see how this works. French cop. What? French cop. Now what, bro, Chacho? All right, got the taser installed. Doesn't look like the shift light's working. I gotta do some research on that. But uh, we'll go try out the. Um, line lock also I don't know, I'll show you all the light show later I'm not real big on that but and then um, the, the boost gauge also it doesn't seem to be working I kind of did a little research on that and uh, I don't know it doesn't look like it's gonna work so run down the road here and a shot. So in order to activate the uh, line lock, you gotta press the left arrow and the set positive on the cruise. You can hold them, but you just gotta hold one. I'm holding the left arrow, then that service uh, analog brake and line lock flashes, then you pump the brakes twice. Yeah. You just hold that button, let her rip. pretty good uh, I guess I'll just I'll show you all a couple of the other features I've messed with which is the um, the light show and you can control the windows up and down with the key fob um, which that stuff isn't that big a deal the light show especially isn't that big a deal to me but I know some people like that kind of stuff um, the windows being able to like remotely I can see where I don't know if it was parked kind of far away and you were you know it was in the sun and you're fixing to head to it in a little bit I guess I can see where you maybe it'd roll them down a little bit to let it start airing out or something I don't know anyway all right so to do the uh, the auto down and auto up for the 
windows you press the unlock button once and then hold it you can stop in the middle and go all the way down and then to go up just press the lock button to do it six times I forgot you have to press the lock button six times and it'll roll them up and then to activate the light show you do unlock unlock lock unlock and then so it'll do like that and then do a scroll Through them, you uh, press the unlock again, and that'll do different uh, different modes. I'll do the third one. I think there's six total, um, and like a few you can customize. The fifth. Six. Anyway, it's kind of cool. Um, then to uh, turn that off, you just press lock, and it uh, turns it off. But anyway, all right, man. Well, that's the uh, taser pretty cool got some cool features hopefully they um hopefully i can get that shift light working and i hope one day they get the uh that where that boost gauge can maybe work instead of the um, intake air temp anyway uh catch you guys later